Assalamu alaikum students I hope you all are fine and you are paying gratitude to the almighty Allah for keeping us safe and sound in the pandemic situation well I'm very glad to see your efforts in your assignments it's really appreciable but please just pay a little bit more attention to your spellings okay today I have decided that we will discuss our geography and today we will start from the chapter number nine that is agriculture okay let's get started students did you ever imagine and think that what fuel does our body require to carry out all its day-to-day -day functions did you just say food yes that's the right answer and then where do we get our food from hmm? cereals pulses meat vegetables all this on our plate come from somewhere don't they if then so there where do you think they come from think if you are thinking that all is coming from agriculture then yes you are right all this is coming from agriculture and that's our topic for today Students, agriculture is the business of growing crops and raising animals for food and raw material. For example, a farmer grows wheat for food and also sells the wheat to the factories to make it into flour. Another example, we can uh, take the cotton farmer. A cotton farmer sells the cotton he grows on his farm to the textile factory. So for agriculture, we need the help from farmers. And for farming, you can also say that agriculture is the second name of farming. Here are two types of farming, arable farming and pastoral farming. For the arable farming, you just need to remember that it is the growing of crops. So whenever you see that a farmer is growing only crops, then you will say he is doing arable farming. And when um, the farmer are raising animals then you will say it's a pastoral farming so raising of animals is the pastoral farming and growing of crops is arable farming next we will move on to the purpose of the agriculture farmers grow crops for different purposes some farmers grow crops or keeping animals mainly for their own use or just to feed their own families and if they are doing so, this is called subsistence or the survival agriculture. The second person is uh, second purpose is commercial. Whenever the farmers raising animals and growing crops for the purpose of selling them, it is called the commercial farming. So subsistence for the survival to feeding their own families and for commercial, it's just the purpose of selling the crops in the market. Next, we will discuss the importance of agriculture. From the beginning of the slides, you can uh, have idea that the agriculture is a very important sector of Pakistan and for all the world. And I have chosen four main important reasons that will decide that how important the agriculture is for us. The first one is source of food supply. The second one is employment. Third is foreign exchange earner and solution for poverty. So we will start discussing the first point that is source of food supply. Students, people depend on agriculture, not just for raw material, but also for their food supply. Food is necessary to satisfy hunger and to provide the necessary nutrients for healthy growth. I can give you an example of rice. Rice is a staple food of at least half of the world's population. It provides the necessary carbohydrates, fiber, mineral, salt and vitamins. And with an expanding world population, the agriculture sector is under tremendous stress to increase its output. Second point is employment. Agriculture is responsible for employing a large percentage of the population especially in the developing or the poorer countries. The labor is either directly or indirectly linked to the agriculture. For example, farmers are directly involved because they are working in the fields, they are growing crops, they are seeding, 
they are taking care of the plants and animals so they are directly involved but workers who are employed in a fertilizer factory is indirectly linked to the agriculture sector in pakistan for example the agriculture sector employs nearly half of the country's labor force about 67 percent of the population lives in the rural areas or you can also say that they are living in the villages and they either directly or indirectly rely on only agriculture for their livelihood okay now comes foreign exchange earner sale of agricultural produce in overseas market earns a country's foreign exchange or foreign money that is the definition of foreign exchange the foreign exchange can then be used to purchase goods that the country needs but are not produced locally pakistan for example for example sells cotton to the countries in the european union and earns euros in exchange the euros is then used to buy the machinery from the european union that is not produced in pakistan now here comes the solution for poverty according to the world development report 2007 it is stressed that investment in agriculture be increased to try to alleviate the extreme poverty and hunger from all over the world about 75 percent of the world's poor live in rural areas rural areas means they are living in the villages in the developing countries and yes they are heavily reliant on agriculture agriculture based countries are home to 417 million poor people and from 4, 417 people 170 million of whom live on the less than US dollar one per day means they are not even earning equal to the US dollar one in a day most of these countries are in the sub-saharan Africa in sub-saharan Africa students 65 percent of the people are employed in agriculture so thus improvement in the agriculture is therefore a way out of poverty for these rural or poor people this was all from the agriculture chapter for today now we will move on to the assignment and here comes your assignment yes that is a very very easy assignment you just need to define agriculture then in question number two you will tell that what is the purpose of agriculture and then the third question you need to answer that why is agriculture important that was all for today please take care yourself thank you so much